Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I want to show you how to code in new fuel injectors. Now, on this Mercedes, this is a 2015 GL50 uh, diesel. On this Mercedes and the diesel ones, you've had to do injector coding for quite some time now. Newer Mercedes, especially direct injector engines, like the 3.0 twin turbo engine, for example, you have to do fuel injector coding on those as well. But in this, it has the 3.0 liter, the OM640. Two, which is the engine code, which is found on sprinters, art, um, ML 320s and ML 350s diesel, and oh, like and so many Mercedes models. Uh, it's not uh, like S350 Blue Tex, and so this goes on and on. And then the newer ones as well. So I'll show you how you code a new injector using the Ucanic scanner. Now on the scanner, there's you actually two ways to do this. You can go to diagnostics and then we'll, that's the way we'll go and you go to engine control unit. Teach it new ones, but if you don't see that option there, go to maintenance and then you, you have the option here that says injector coding. Um, so you can go there. I'm gonna go the diagnostics wrap, so, but you can check both. Select diagnostics, you select Mercedes, you select your model, and then you go to drive and engine electronic. And then down here at the bottom, look for control unit adaptations. Now, if you don't see control unit adaptations, make sure your scanner is updated. Go to updates, hit update all screen, or go to maintenance and look for injector. Then you're gonna see something along this line. So here we wanna select adjustment of injector. So those codes are telling you sure you have replaced the injector and you need the code. Now on the injectors themselves, it will be on the box as well if you install new injectors. But if you install and use, let's say, on the injectors, you really by the connector or on the body of the injector so be careful check that before you install the injectors but if you have installed it go to the connector where the injector uh, connector plugs in and usually you'll have the uh, seven digit code uh, it should look something like this you'll have that code there on the injector as well oh, uh, but select the injector you want to select chain let's say this one press ok make sure it says cylinder 2 make sure you're looking at the right one and then we'll do a I, I, which is the code for the new injector. I'm going to hit cylinder 2. Code is BA166SH. That's what's stored there, okay? But we're going to change new injector. Hit OK. And there, A, I, I, 65. Now, engine needs to be on. There's a few conditions need to be met. Engine needs to be on, ignition on, but engine doesn't need to be running. If, uh, if you try this with the engine running, you're going to just, the engine control unit is going to refuse taking that code. It's going to say, function not supported so if you get in function not supported it's probably uh, and there can be usually there are other conditions like and battery voltage needs to be high enough and things like that for for that uh, basically being able to write the new um, the new numbers the new adaptation numbers to the engine control unit but if I try this with engine running this is not gonna take it uh, in this case we did it engine on ignition on in position two engine not running and it took it so you can see cylinder two aii 65g which is a new one so you can just replace that and that's it back you go back at there actually and see the new correction code injector code stored you can see that you can just verify that's it thank you for watching you can where you can be the mechanic